There are three ways of looking up things in memory in x86 assembly. And the first way is through a constant, the second way is through a register, and the third way is through both a constant and a register. So I will show you the first way. So let's say we want to look up the byte at address 46C. And the way and to do that you would use the move instruction to set to read the value. You want a destination to read the value, and our destination will be AL followed by the source. So our source would be the byte at 46C. At the byte at 46C. Not the value of 46C itself are we going to initialize AL with, but we're just going to initialize it with the byte at 46C. So let's say in this hypothetical case that at this moment the byte at 46C is going to be 0B. So that means that AL will now be initialized with 0B. So I emphasize the case that it's at this moment that AL will be 0B because after 1 18th of a second later the value will change to 0C and that's because the interrupt timer updates the value at this address updates the byte at this address so if I were to execute the uh, this instruction after one second or after actually after an 18th of a second I get the value AL equals 0C so this isn't necessarily equivalent to move AL 0B although it may, it may be at that moment but it's not equivalent at all to 0B if this is going to change so so the next method of uh, addressing memory is through the register so let's say I can initialize one of my registers which is which I'll use the base register and that's I've said in my previous tutorial used for addressing memory I'll initialize my BX register with the value the address 46C and now I'm going to now read the value into AL from the address from the byte at BX so the byte at BX is 0B at this moment so AL would have to be equal to 0B and the third way of addressing memory is is uh, is bo through both a constant and a register. So let's say we want to read the mm, the byte at 46C plus A. 46C plus A. So now, assuming that our BX register is initialized with the value 46C, um, we could read the value into AL from 46C plus A by simply just uh, tacking on an A in front of the BX because the assembler recognizes this as addition actually so our AL register would uh, well let's say the data the byte at 46C plus A equals DD although it may change in the actual uh, in the environment you're working with so AL would be equal to DD when this inst instruction executes. So I'll show you it in action, these instructions in action and how these values are initialized. So if I switch over. So now um, you can see at the top here that I've created um, instructions starting from 100 that um, demonstrates what we've been doing before. So now if I press the R instruction uh, we could see that we have move AL. Um, we want the offset at 42 in this segment. Oh, by the way, when uh, when you're going to write it, the instruction like this, you could use a segment override prefix to denote like if you want to read it at um, a different segment because the instruction automatically assumes you're reading it from the data segment. So the full address is the data segment and the offset. So yeah, at the data segment and offset 2387 42, you have the value zero. And if you're not sure if that's true, you could always do a dump. So you could just type in the dump and the offset, and it automatically knows the segment because it has the segment as DS and has the segment in DS. So 42 is obviously a bunch of zeros. So if we um, trace this instruction we have uh, AL being zero, not changed at all. And then we have uh, this instruction right here, move BX70. We're going to initialize BX with uh, the value 70. 
So now, um, after that, we have we have the register change right here, and we want to look at the byte at the at seventy, the byte at seventy in the DS segment. So the DS seventy would be equal to twenty, and if you're not sure if that's true, uh, you could always dump it at seventy, and then it's and then at seventy, uh, the offset is uh, at seventy, the byte at that address is twenty. So when we trace it again, AL would be 20. And now we have the third case where we're going to combine both the register and the value. And I've written the instruction before, but now the screen has scrolled. <laughs> but, but I've written it as, um, as like the form with 32 outside the brackets. So now I'm going to have uh, AL with the, uh, AL with the value with the byte at the address A2. See the assembler automatically adds it for you which is very handy. So at A2 I have 2A and if you're not sure you could always do a dump. You could actually add these together and then you get A2 and then you could dump it at A2 and then you see that it's 2A. So so now we're going to uh, trace this and then AL should be equal to 2A. So everything in AL was replaced with 2A. So that's all about it. That's it for uh, m uh, m referencing memory.